five, four, three. Welcome to Peacekeeper Reaction. My name is Nathan. Joining me, the beautiful, the lovely, the talented, my twin flame. Uh, Dannon. Dannon. <laughs> and uh, we're having a great time. Dannon, there, so we do a thing uh, all the time off camera when we're just hanging out and we call it song for song. Yeah. So it's where we'll have some drinks. We'll go into our bedroom and well, we'll... Don't forget to add that that's because I'm a I'm a auxiliary hog. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. It's uh refreshing that I get to choose a song. We we had to make a event. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where so I would be obligated to give you a chance at the music. to pick music. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I'm not allowed to connect my phone to the Bluetooth no, in no, the no, car. No. <laughs> he, he he I hear it from outside the car. Bluetooth disconnected when I start walking up to the car. Because yeah, I know better. I know my role. But we do a thing <laughs> called Song for Song. And uh, it's where I you show me a song, I show you a song. It's kind of like the show without the cameras. Um, and uh, this song has been something that every time we do that, I want to show you, but I want to wait for the show. Oh. Because like it's like, I know you're going to love this. and uh, so I, I But I'm, I'm waiting. So uh, And it's funny that this band... Just just came up organically throughout our life in the past few days and uh, so we're going to be doing Michael Monroe who's a Finnish singer songwriter uh, singer uh, artist he's a Finnish artist but he's best known for his fronting the band Hanoi Rocks and uh, this just came up recently when we were watching that movie American Satan which is uh, an interesting film mm -hmm. but they talked about Hanoi Rocks see the thing and your mom says she's a huge fan of Hanoi yeah. Rocks so Hanoi Rocks was a 1980s uh, kind of hair metal band yeah. that a lot of people don't know them, but they influenced your favorite bands. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So, they say, like, the New York Dolls. I don't know if you know the New York Dolls. But they're a band that, like, everyone who went to their show went to go and form their own bands. Yeah. Like, so, they're so their tentacles uh, reach deep within the, the music scene. Yeah. Well, there's, thing, there's so many things like that. Like, Steel Panther probably is a uh, not direct influence of Electric Cowboy. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, for like sure, yeah. Goofy metal, but yeah, yeah. still sounds totally. good. And Steel Panther is fucking hilarious. Yeah. I, I don't mind them and at all. And they do the goofy yeah, metal, yeah. But, but they still sound good for sure. And I think like it's like because um, we have, we have like Weird Al where it's like. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't even really sound that good. Yeah, yeah. And it's goofy, and like for we sure. like we like that for the memes, but like yeah. Steel Panther. Yeah. Kind of did it totally. like good music, but yeah, yeah, weird. Well, so Hanoi Rocks, they they people say that they are influenced bands such as Guns N' Roses, you know, take oh, wow. a lot from yeah. from Hanoi Rocks, a lot of different Motley Crue. And one of the reasons I wanted to share this with you, and we'll get into Hanoi Rocks if you like this, okay. but it's one one of the things that I love about you is like your musical tastes are as varied as mine. And so, like, when we're, like, today, when we were cooking lasagna, the most delicious lasagna I think I've ever had in my life, you, your playlist was a lot of, like, hair metal, a lot of 1980s kind of stuff. We were just driving to get a 40-pounder of vodka for filming, and a Journey came on. Like, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I love that about you, that you, like... You d like a lot of people poo poo a Hades hair metal or I you know what I mean, it. but I like that. I love that about you. So I'm like, you got to hear the song, and finally, I'm gonna show it to you. So we're gonna watch the uh, uh, music video, and I just like really n no no like look, this isn't story time, okay? This I really hope that you like because this will be <laughs> fascinating for me. But the song we're gonna check out is called. Ballad of the Lower East Side, and this is about old New York. Okay. So uh, Michael Monroe, he became huge, and he spent a lot of time in New York and uh, dealing with the old school New York, like the Lower East Side, the drug riddled. Before, like if you go to uh, Times Square now, yeah, it's very sanitized. There's an M and M shop, you know, like uh, it's all it's all uh, gentrified. But okay. back in the day, Lower East Side was all porn theaters and like 
drugs and alcohol and so like gritty. Vancouver. Like grittiness. Yeah, yeah. Like the Lower East Side in Vancouver. So uh, this is kind of a love letter to that era of New York. And uh, I'm just so excited to show you this. So yeah. I hope you like it. If not, if we might have anything, to end the show. I'm sorry, baby, but anything hair metal. Well, yes. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Well, anything, let's... anything of that style is... Nipples. Yeah, nipples. Well, let's see if this gets your nipples going because this is such a great song, and okay. I think it's going to make your playlist. This is Michael Monroe, Ballad of the Lower East Side, on Peacekeeper. Reaction. Things are different today. Back in New Junkies, pimps, and whores Hallelujah Now it's squeak and clean There's no place left to stay That's Michael Monroe, I, Ballad of the Lower East Side. Um, what do you think? <clears throat> Love it. Yeah. I Yes, it will. You're right. It will make my playlist. <laughs> but also, I need to say, I already said it, but that whole video reminds me of my time in Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. Like downtown Vancouver. <laughs> yes, like yeah. I, there's the, yeah. the Bar the Moose there. Yes, yeah, yeah. It, uh, the, what, Lee's Palace? I yeah, think, yeah, and it's uh, the Iron Maiden bar, and I spent so many times going to down to the pawn shop to have like two dollar tacos and yeah. three dollar margaritas. Yeah, yeah. That's actually when I got my dinosaur tattoo. Was I had nice. about like twelve margaritas, and then two <laughs> buildings next door was the tattoo shop, and I went right in and I got a tattoo, and then that's from awesome. there went back to the moose because that's yeah. where we, that's what we were doing. Yeah, yeah. And that was like. 
the, all those clips, like yeah. their bathrooms that are yeah. tiny little stalls covered in stickers and shit. For like, sure. I was just like that kind of like I I really I don't know how much of my time in Vancouver I enjoyed, but doing the fucking yes. <laughs> the, the yeah, rapscallion yeah. shit and, for sure. and doing that was yeah. the good times. For sure. So it actually kind of made me reminisce and for the longest time I think I've told you a million times how much I hated Vancouver. Yeah. But it's like and, and that's what he's saying too is like yeah, yeah. bring me back to that yeah yeah he's like, like it. there's junkies pimps and whores hallelujah yeah. and he's like uh, I forget there's the art on every corner yeah yeah yes that's exactly what I was going to say he's like it's about the LES there was art on every corner now there's so much less and it's like yeah because like the junkies the like uh, there's, a, there's a correlation between art and being poor like good like poverty breeds art i well, think anyways starving you know, artists yeah yeah exactly yeah. so the, so there's something about communities of artists people uh struggling yeah. so when you have less uh, money you have to go to those communities that where where you can afford to rent a place with 12 other people or whatever yeah. you know what i mean yeah. and then so it's like then when they gentrify those areas they become clean like look at calgary like calgary is a great example of how money takes the personality out of a yeah. city like it's so clean if i went and tagged a wall in calgary it would be gone the next day yeah like you know what i mean there's, so there's no personality it's crazy. It's you know crazy yeah i used to work at dickens pub downtown yeah and i would walk to work all the time because i didn't live that far and like i'd see a new tag and it, it, it's so funny that you'd say that because even from dickens you'd stand outside and you'd see the apartment next door got a, a tag and you're like oh cool and then i'd come into work the next day and it's, it's like gone. Already. It's like you can see yeah. the fresh paint circle, but you can't see that. And yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like let it be gross a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah. Let it be a little gritty. Yeah. Let it be a little grimy, and that's like a love letter to that. And uh, and obviously, a lot of artists. It's no uh, joke. Like when uh, you know myself I am included. An yeah, but like myself included, we are predisposed to addiction and stuff like that too. So that all that shit kind of comes into play. Mm -hmm. And so like you know what I mean. So it's a uh, it's it's a trade-off you know what i mean yeah. you 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 get to create this good art because you're fucked up yeah you know what i mean and you have uh mental issues and drug addiction and, and fucking you, plus it's not yeah P picasso cut off his ear yeah yeah like, exactly like a lot of people are he always ain't like rich yeah. and he ain't well yeah <laughs> you know? like a lot of people like i'm wearing a Marilyn manson t-shirt right now right and people are like, you still like Marilyn Manson even after he did all that fucked up shit, which I didn't really look into that much, to be honest, or whatever. But it's yeah. like, do you think I like Marilyn Manson because I think he's like a, a sane, he's a rational stand-up guy. Stand guy? No, I like Marilyn Manson because it's, he's <laughs> fucked up and he made fucked up shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's like you just like the, the fucking product. Yeah, like yeah. The product that he provides, the art that he provides. Yeah, yeah, it's for like, sure. It's like, oh, you like Picasso? He cut off his fucking ear. Yeah, yeah. So like, and mailed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, like, well, yeah, yeah, he's fucked up, but his art is crazy. Yeah, and I'll have this discussion with uh, Jack all the time, my yeah. sister from another Mister, and she'll be like, yeah, I, I hate Marilyn Manson now. We she used to love him or whatever, right? And I'm like, so when you listen to a song that really affects you, do you go and look up the artist and make sure they never done anything wrong? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or do you just listen to the music? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, well, and his music is fucked up. It's not like he ever was like, hey, guys, I'm a really good guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is so, a song about yeah. Jesus. Yeah, no, yeah, this yeah. song is about Jesus. It's about fucking Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Listen to <laughs> Smells Like Children, which I just got in the mail yeah, today. Yeah. Listen to that album and then say, oh, that guy's probably great and nice. Yeah, and like, I bet you his relationships are all perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and, and and I think he's great to people. And I think he's yeah. a, a, pro yeah. a, a product that deserves to be in society. Yeah. That's a fucking loot. Yeah, not. yeah, exactly. The fact that you're writing yeah. that kind of music says you're a fucking yeah. problem so nobody yeah. ever looked into it before and then it comes out and it's like whoa he's a problem well yeah duh. yeah yeah <laughs> obviously <laughs> But um, also, the reason I wanted to show you Michael Monroe is because someone uh, requested he has a new song out, I guess, with Slash, uh, which makes a lot of sense because Slash was probably heavily influenced by Hanoi Rocks. So they, like I said, their yeah. tentacles run deep in that music scene. Uh, they were kind of the originators. So uh, let us know in the comment section what you think about this or any other topic or anything that we touched on today. Yeah. I love reading your guys' comments. You're so great. And uh, if you want to get your requests on the show, leave a comment to this video or any other video go to where where peacekeeper would... oh, wait 
Patreon. Patreon.com slash Peacekeeper Reaction. Or send us a super chat. Or a super and, chat, And uh, yeah. do that. There's lots of ways, but if you leave a comment, right, I right. read every one. Let you, I'll let you know right we, now. We, we read, read every one. So if you leave a comment... I read it. <laughs> yeah, and I obsess over it in the middle of the night yeah. sometimes when he's snoring and I can't sleep. So I just quietly, I turn the brightness down on my phone and I scroll through the comments. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and we have someone on staff that actually checks the comments to make sure we're not missing anything. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So that's a lot of fun. Anyways, for Peacekeeper, I'm Nathan Nuts. Nathan. No, Dannon. You're Dannon. I'm Nathan. I'm Dannon? You're Dannon. I thought you were Dannon this whole time. Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> uh, peacekeeper reaction. <laughs> Play safe. I can put my arm back on. But so can I, because I'm Dan and not Nathan. All right, brilliant.